Accuracy and precision are words we use to describe um, data, and they reflect the, the quality of the data. Um, we would like for our data, our measurements, to be accurate and precise, but these two things are actually independent of each other. So you can be accurate and precise. You could have be not accurate and not precise. You can be any combination. So accuracy refers to how close your measured value is to the true value. And so if we think of like, you know, shooting arrows at a target, um, accuracy would be hitting the bullseye, right? You're aiming for the center and you hit it right there. That's accurate. Precision refers to multiple measurements of the same thing and how close those measurements are to each other. It's really, you know, how consistent you are, how reproducible are the measurements. So again, with the archery, Um, being precise means that every time you shoot an arrow, it goes the same place or really, really close. So these are precise, very close to each other. Are they accurate? No, because we were aiming at the bullseye. We're just very consistent at being off to the right and down a little bit. Ideally, we would like to be able to hit the bullseye every time. Not always possible. So this is data from um, three different students who measured the same block of lead. And we know that the true mass of it is 10.00 grams. These are the values that they came up with. And then they averaged them. So when we look at it in a table, it's like kind of hard to really get much meaning out of it. And that's why scientists often graph things, because it makes it more visual. So what is the, what is the biggest difference between this graph and this one and this one? What's the thing that's different? One is more precise than the other. Yeah, so in this one, the, the, the bars are all over the place. And in here, they're about the same height. And here, they're about the same height. Right? So both of these are precise. This one's not precise. The, the values are scattered all over the place. When we have multiple measurements, what we do is we take an average of those. And then we want to compare that to the true value. So on the graph here, the true mass is the blue line. And so here we see that this average was significantly different. It was above. And so this student's data is inaccurate and imprecise. Uh, bad day in lab. Over here, the student was precise. But if we look at the average, it's consistently his measurements, her measurements were consistently lower, and the average is less. So this, this student was precise. They got the, real close to the same value each time, but it's inaccurate, it's off. And then this student did very well. The results are precise, they're very close to each other, and the average 10.01 is very close to 10.00, okay? So this is what, we're aiming for, we'd like to be accurate and precise. We have quantitative ways to measure accuracy and precision, and we'll be learning more about those in lab. For, for accuracy, we use percent error to measure the difference. That is a really loud stereo outside. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah. It's like shaking a building. I wonder how much that cost. Anyway, pre precision, we can um, evaluate using standard deviation. And accuracy, we use percent error. So in the worksheet, there's a couple of um, questions that ask you to calculate the percent error. And it gives you the formula. Um, 
there are two kinds of error. Uh, random error um, has an equal chance of being high or low. So it's, just, it's random, right? Any given measurement might be higher than it should be or lower than it should be. You can't avoid a certain amount of random error. But you can get rid of random error by making multiple measurements and averaging them. Because since random error is random, we take a bunch of measurements. Some of them are too high. Some of them are too low. The random error will get canceled out and go away. So that's nice. Systematic error is the error that tends to be too high all the time or too low all the time. This can be caused by you not knowing how to use the instrument or the measuring device correctly. It could be caused by a problem with the measuring device. Averaging doesn't help that. The systematic error is definitely going to affect your accuracy. Random error um, typically doesn't affect your accuracy very much, but it'll cause your precision to be less because the, the numbers will be scattered around.